eat, relax, with me, Josie Fletcher. Welcome to our Valentine's special. Today we're going to be making pan fried duck breast with braised red cabbage, pancetta potatoes and an orange and red wine jus. Valentine's Day can be a little bit daunting. When you've been married a few years and have some kids running around the place, it's kind of the last thing you think about, but we are never too past it to keep the romance alive. So every year I always try to make a little fuss on Valentine's Day with a really nice home cooked dinner. So this may sound a little complicated, but it really isn't. It just shows that if you put the right ingredients together, you can still make great tasting food without spending hours in your kitchen. You must take your duck out of the fridge at least one hour before you cook it. It's got to be kind of room temperature, otherwise it's not going to cook properly if it's stone cold in the middle. I'm going to start by shredding my cabbage. Now we have to take the core out of the cabbage. There's this really hard bit here in the middle which we want to get rid of. So just kind of diagonally slice that out and that's all the really hard bit that we don't want. And then we're just going to shred it nice and fine. Mind your fingers. Okay, so we're going to put 25 grams of butter into the pan. And then we're going to add our cabbage. Now we're braising our cabbage for 15 minutes and this will make it nice and tender and really sweet. But if you were in a hurry and you wanted this to be done a lot quicker, you could just fry it off for maybe five minutes and it'll add a nice crunchy texture to your dish. Personally, I like it sweet and soft. Add a sprinkle of salt and let that fry for a minute or two before adding our spices and orange juice. Now in goes your star anise and your cinnamon stick. And they're going to be our aromatics. They're going to really flavour the cabbage. And we're going to pour in the juice of one orange, which I've already squeezed. Now that's going to be just enough fluid in there to let it braise for 15 minutes. But try not to leave it any longer than that because it might stick. Red wine sauces usually require a chopped shallot and a little bit of fuss, but I want it to be really easy. So I'm throwing everything into a pan, turning it on and letting it bubble. How easy is that? Put your wine, the juice from the remaining orange, one cinnamon stick, one star anise and your sugar into the pan and get it on the boil. Stir until the sugar has melted, then boil vigorously for 15 minutes until the sauce has thickened and reduced. While that's happening, get your potatoes on to boil. Add a little bit of salt to the water and then pop them in. These small potatoes should only take about 15 minutes to cook. Finally chop your garlic. When your potatoes have 10 minutes left, prepare your duck. Make light slashes in the skin of the duck and season with salt and pepper on both sides. Make sure you put plenty of salt on the duck skin. This is what's gonna help render out the fat and make that nice crispy skin that you really look forward to when eating a piece of duck. Place the duck skin side down into a cold pan. It's really important that the pan is cold because we want to render the fat out. If we put it into a hot pan, it will seal it and the fat won't escape so well. So we wanna get all that fat out and then end up with a really nice crispy skin. Pop the heat on. To medium and let that cook for eight minutes skin side down don't touch it don't move the pan so the duck's been frying away for eight minutes and you can see in the pan loads of fat has come out the skin should be nice and crispy by now so turn it over pop that in the oven 200 degrees for another six minutes if you don't have a, a hob two oven frying pan, then just warm through a little dish in the oven and pop the duck breast straight into there and finish the cooking process that way. Take your duck out of the oven and leave it to rest for 10 minutes. When your potatoes are ready, drain them and use the saucepan to fry off your pancetta. Put the pancetta into a dry pan, there's no oil in there. And we'll let that cook on a medium heat for three to four minutes. Because we're using the same pan as what we cook the potatoes in, I like to give it a little white brown before we add the pancetta. When your pancetta is nice and crispy, add your garlic. And we fry that for literally 10 seconds before piling in our potatoes. And giving the potatoes a little mash with your masher. 
we want to just finish off our sauce now so we're going to add around 25 grams of butter and you can see now how thick and reduced it's gone and this little bit of butter is just going to give it a nice shine mix it in until the butter has completely melted into the sauce the cabbage should be ready now so it's time to plate up your dish pile the potatoes in the middle of a warm plate place a good dollop of cabbage beside it slice the duck breast and arrange it on top of the potato so we've cooked this duck kind of medium rare but if you wanted it to be a little more done then you could do it for an extra two to three minutes on each side and that would be nice and cooked through drizzle your gorgeous sauce over the top of the duck breast and serve this to your loved one on valentine's day they're going to think you've been slaving away over a hot stove for hours but really it's only taken 20 minutes from start to finish This recipe is one of my secret cheats and I'm almost reluctant to reveal it, but I figure it's unfair to keep it to myself. It follows beautifully after the pan fried duck breast. Again, it looks like you've been slaving in the kitchen for hours, but really it's taken minutes to prepare. Start by melting the chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds. Give it a good stir and pop it in for another 30 seconds. Leave to cool for a bit while you prepare the cream. Pour the cream into a large bowl and whisk until you get a nice soft peak. Add the Irish cream and mix in well before pouring in the chocolate. Mix in the chocolate until it's all well incorporated and decant into ramekins or glasses. If you want to jazz these little pots up a bit, crumble some amaretti biscuits to the bottom of the glass and top with the mousse. Add a little more amaretti, little more mousse and then a grating of chocolate. Pop it in the fridge for at least four hours to set. Could it be any easier?